On behalf of your bride and groom, I would like to welcome you all to Borthwick Castle today on a special day for Rebecca and Daniel as they enter this new chapter in their lives. Now, as you know, this amazing venue is steeped in history going back to the 15th century. And today, Rebecca and Daniel will make a bit of their own history as they celebrate their marriage here. The reason that you're all here is because you, their family and closest friends, are the most important people in their lives. You have loved them, supported them, and helped them to become the two very special people who stand before you today. You're here to share in the formal commitment they're making to each other, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow them to start their married lives together, surrounded by the people they love the most. It's lovely to see you all here, to celebrate and have lots of fun with people we hold dear. The time has come for Beck and Dan to tie the knot today at Borthwick Castle with family and friends to witness Willie give Beck away. A little bit of history about the happy couple. Some funny things I could tell you all, but I'll let Lewis land in trouble. <laughs> Let's start at the young age of 16. The Sun Inn played its part, where the pair of teenage waiters stole each other's heart. Now Dan's time to meet Becca's parents, the three musketeers Lorraine had in mind. Athos, Porthos, Aramis, which one? Like Dan, they're so handsome and kind. <laughs> Willie, on the other hand, was keen to know what team. His daughter's new bow does support. That it's green. <laughs> <laughs> One Sunday afternoon, Dan appeared with Becca by his side. A wee surprise for Andrew and me, Daniel was fair bursting with pride. It soon became apparent the two were a really good match. Similar interests they both had. Dan, you've got yourself a great catch. Andrew and I are really chuffed to have Becca join our clan. A girl at last, <laughs> to add to our boys, Lou and today's special groom dad. All our love and best wishes to such a special pair, many years you have in front to make lasting memories to share. So thank you all, each and every one. We hope you have a ball. Love from Alison, Andrew, Willie and Lorraine, and of course, the new Mr and Mrs Hall. <laughs> I, Daniel Andrew Hall. Accept you, Rebecca Elsa Martin. Accept you, Rebecca Elsa Martin. In marriage as my wife. In marriage as my wife. You are blood of my blood. You are blood of my blood. And bone of my bone. And bone of my bone. I give you my body. I give you my body. That we two might be one. That we two might be one. I give you my spirit. I give you my spirit. Till our life shall be done. Till our life shall be done. Hi, Rebecca Elsa Martin. Accept you, Daniel Andrew Hall. Accept you, Daniel Andrew Hall. In marriage as my husband. In marriage as my husband. You are blood of my blood. You are blood of my blood. And bone of my bone. <laughs> and bone of my bone. I give you my body. I give you my body. That we two might be one. That we two might be one. I give you my spirit. I give you my spirit. Till our life shall be done. Till our life shall be done. Rebecca Elsa Martin and Daniel Andrew Hall, you have now both made a solemn and binding commitment and by virtue of these declarations made in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses, I have much pleasure in declaring you legally married and pronouncing you husband and wife. And you may now have your very first kiss as a married couple.
And so to the happy couple, Rebecca, the Bairn, or the Wayne, for those of us with our Glaswegian origins. I knew I'd met my match with Rebecca when she came along. I used to think I was quick witted, smart, and intelligent, but I quickly realized I was dealing with a professional when it came to those kind of attributes. But my little girl is funny, she's infectious and a joy to be around and Lorraine and I love her very much. As that well-known 21st century philosopher Sean Paul once said, <laughs> you're worth more than diamond, more than gold. What can I say about Daniel? He's a good lad. I know this from personal experience, it's whenever I embark on any DIY or jobs around the house, um, Daniel's always there to help because Lorraine always suggests, don't you think you should get Daniel to help you? <laughs> of course, marriage takes love, trust and respect. It needs patience and compromise. I certainly know because I've been patiently compromising for years. Still, if Rebecca and Daniel are half as happy as Lorraine and I, then they will be very happy indeed. A lot of people have asked me the last week in particular um, if I was nervous. And of course I was going to say yes. Um, speeches, not really used to speaking in front of a lot of people. Loads of things to think about, loads of things to remember. But yeah, the only thing I was certain about was, uh, was marrying you. You manage to bring me peace and comfort at times I overthink. You make me want to be a better man and are the inspiration in everything I do. I can't wait to continue this chapter with you. Conquer the world together. You really are my best friend. Dan and Becca, you go together like Lady and Tramp. Like... <laughs> like Belle and Beast. Like Jane and Tarzan. I wish you love and every success for the future as you both embark on your own fairy tale. Ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me immense pleasure to invite you all to stand if you are able and raise your glasses in a toast to the new Mr and Mrs Hall. To Mr and Mrs Hall.